Hello, all you groomers. This is Bella, everybody, my uh, assistant groomer. Now, I am coming to you guys today because, you know, some of you guys are asking about the nozzles. Do you want to see the shower nozzle in action or um, something like that? So, we have little Miss Luna here. It's a typical pug. Now, she's lucky. She comes in every single week and has this done. But, so I'm, Bella's going to demonstrate the shower nozzle and the D-shed nozzle, and we'll tell you a little bit of information afterwards. So, I'll turn this camera around. Alright, so, here's the D-shed nozzle, or no, I'm sorry, not the D-shed, the shower nozzle and everything like that. Um, and Miss Bella, or uh, Luna here, Bella's the groomer. Um, so, go ahead and step on the pedal. So you can see the pattern. It's nice, it's strong, it's, it's going to get down into those double coats. And go ahead and adjust, show them how you can... Go ahead. So we can adjust the pressure, so we can take it down to next to nothing, if you have a dog that's really sensitive. Or we can just put it all the way back up to full blast. And so I was going to go ahead and uh, do Miss Luna here real quick. So as you can see, it really gets into that coat. Um, so this is just initially getting her wet for us so we can do our soap wash. But go ahead and switch over to the D-shed nozzle. And so we just keep it really close right up there. So that's the D-shed nozzle, everyone. And yes, it's just one hole, but you want to focus all that water down in there. Now you can simply... Luna's not going to have a whole lot of hair come off because she's done every single week, guys, literally. So go ahead and just show them. And because she doesn't have a whole lot of undercoat to begin with, there is a little bit more splashing than you would on a bigger dog. But as you can see, we have no hands on her whatsoever. We, she's just standing there. It is not that much pressure, guys. And if Bella wants to stop... We're going to show you guys exactly how much pressure there is exactly. So if you watch her arm, go ahead. So this is on full blast. This is the angle that you're going to want to have. It's barely even, if any, denting her skin. So it's not doing anything. I mean, you obviously aren't going to be pointing the, the nozzle directly at the dog like that, but that doesn't even dent her skin. Now, I'm going to hand Bella a blower. And I run with that one. So just to show you guys how much this is denting her skin compared to my pump. So, um, as you can see, that just barely did anything to, um, to dent her skin or anything like that. So. My, that nozzle is no more than what um, a high velocity blower is. It's actually probably a little bit easier on the dogs. So you're gonna have. So as you can see, that has very little, if any, dent. It doesn't even dent the skin. It's not that hard. Um, and it's, it's just a lifesaver when it comes to doing all your dogs. As you can see, we like to hand scrub, so this is why we use the portable hydro bath to get them wet with the soap and water. And then we, um, we'll hit her with the D-shed nozzle at this point. So there is a different method to doing it, but, um, oops, sorry guys. And uh, these nozzles are lifetime nozzles, okay? You guys are not going to need to be replacing them. You're not going to need to be changing them out because, you know, with your trigger nozzles and everything like that, you tend to, um, they get clogged with dirt, debris, soap scum, and everything like that. And you, you guys with trigger nozzles are having to change them out often. Um, I mean, someone has told me they change them out every three months because they stop working. Your little shower rose heads and things like that, they simply um, start spraying really wonky or going all over the place. But you're not going to have that problem with these, okay? Dirt and debris will go right through them. There's no regulators in them. Like I said, they're a lifetime nozzle. Once you buy them, I 
the worst you're going to do is probably lose one. Um, and they, you're actually going to find you probably get a little bit more pressure out of your pump using these nozzles, especially because we use the large quick connects. And um, I, if you need, if you guys still want to use your old stuff, um, I can show you how to adapt that to click right onto the, the large quick connects. Um, and like I said, it's actually a lot better for your pump to be using the bigger ones because every uh, hydro bath needs to be using or should be using the 19 mil hose. And it, it puts a whole lot less pressure on your pump, um, a whole lot less wear and tear on them because you're choking that down and because you're going to be running this nozzle a whole lot longer when you're doing a D shed, obviously, you run the risk of overheating that pump and burning out those seals. And that's the last thing I want anybody to do. So this isn't going to hurt your your hydro bath or anything like that. As long as you're using the the proper equipment and everything, these when you get the attachment, um, if you order that for me or you can go source one out yourself, it's it's really totally up to you. You can. Um, but the nozzles, they're on special still to the end of the year, um, and then they're going to all be full price. Um, so, but I want to get these in as many of your guys' hands because you're going to find so much that you're going to be looking for any reason to be using at least the D-Shed nozzle um, because it just makes life so much easier, a whole lot less mess in the, in the trailer and things like that when you're trying to do these big hairy dogs because they are so much work. Um, they're so demanding, but if you guys can do it a little bit easier, maybe even a little bit faster, and you can probably charge that little bit more because you're going to be putting out a much better quality, um, of a dog than what you have, have done, or you can do it faster, but still charge the same amount of price as what you're doing, but you cut your time in half. That's even better because that's another way of making more money. Okay. Doing, being able to do the job faster, easier, quicker, and less abrasive because you're not using all these carding tools, all of the um, furminators that might damage the coats. We all know that they can be damaging um, if used incorrectly. And a lot of times you know that furminator is not meant to be raked over them more than three times in one spot. I mean, it, I've, I remember way, way, way back when it used to actually say on the package not to be used more than three or four times in one spot because of the risk of damaging the coat or the skin. So I've always had that stuck in my head and I, I limit my use to those tools now by the fact that all I have to do is de-shed them with my de-shed nozzles. And then at the very end, once I'm done blow drying, if I still have some stubborn hair that obviously isn't ready to come out because we know we can't get it all out, um, I can use those tools now to get the stubborn stuff out that's not yet maybe ready to come out, but you can pull it out. And that way you, you've you got everything that you need off of that. So if you guys have any questions, any uh, comments or anything like that, please don't hesitate to call me. You guys all can see my number. It's everywhere, all over all my videos. You can even find it on my page. Um, and ask me your questions or tell me if that's how you want to order. We can do it over the phone or you can message me. Either way, it works. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks. Bye.